News Channel 10 2. Uh, right now, I'm joined by Miss Carol Lovelady, a big, beautiful exhibit. Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel will be featured from June 9th through July 23rd at the Arts and Sunset Center, formerly called Sunset Center, at 3701 Plains Boulevard. Miss Lovelady, welcome to the chat this morning. Uh, beautiful, beautiful display. Tell people what they're going to see with this. They're going to see 34 high quality reproductions. They're photographs that have been enlarged that they will be able to stand in front of and look at all of the details of the Sistine Chapel ceiling painted by Michelangelo. Uh, what made this possible to bring such an installation like this to Amarillo? What was the motivation uh, to bring this, this historically beautiful piece of artwork to our community? Well, what the initial response was that a gentleman from Amarillo visited the exhibit in Albuquerque and he came home and said, we have got to bring this to Amarillo. This is such a wonderful experience. And he is Catholic and he contacted the Catholic diocese and between the Catholic diocese and the Amarillo Art Institute, they were able to put this together and to bring this wonderful exhibit to Amarillo. Yeah, it's an amazing, I, I, I saw it when we first introduced it and then of course, uh, they put the display up and had a media day. I sent a report out and it's just the beauty of of what this is and how it is. But one of the things that also makes it just, just kind of well jumped with pride is the transformation of the facility that's using it. Uh, tell us about a little bit about uh, the Arts and Sunset Center and the importance of having something like this in our community. Well, the Arts and Sunset Center is the former Sunset Center shopping mall that was one of the first malls in enclosed malls in Amarillo. And the woman who owned it, her name was, oh my goodness, I'm going to draw a Ann Crouch owned it. And upon her death, the money that she had left was used to transform this mall into a fabulous art gallery with numerous galleries for individual artists and a huge meeting space that has been remodeled and is the perfect venue for this exhibit. Yeah, uh, it, it's amazing. I, I think sometimes we're underappreciated in this part of the world for the talent and number of and the different mediums that artists work in in this community. And, and it's great to have a space where they can uh, express themselves and get their art seen because that's what it's for is to be seen. Now, uh, is there a price to attend this Michelangelo event? The price varies depending upon the age, the time of the day of the week and the time of the day that you attend. And there is a website and it is called chapelsistine.com. Normally people would say the Sistine Chapel, yeah. but for this website, it's chapelsistine.com. And you can go on that website and the first thing that you do is you indicate the day that you want to attend and the time that you want to attend. And the tickets range from $19 all the way up to, I believe, $36, depending on if you want to take home a souvenir or the time of day that you want to attend. It's a great opportunity to see a master's work. Uh, Michelangelo Sistine Chapel, the exhibition will be featured from June 9th through July 23rd at the Arts and Sunset, uh, the exhibit, a collection of those renowned paintings, and it is a great opportunity. Ms. Lovelady, would you say this is good for young and old? I would say that probably from about ages maybe 12 or beyond. Mm -hmm. One of the things that will that everybody needs to know is they need to take their smartphone with them mm -hmm. because your phone is links you to the audio for the program. Yeah. You'll yeah. download the app and then you'll be able to have you'll have uh, I've lost the word. You'll have an, uh, an explanation yeah. of each painting that you see that you'll listen to on your smartphone. Almost a narrated tour. Uh, that's a neat feature in a lot it of It is a narrated tour. Yeah. 
That's it, the perfect definition. Yeah, it, 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 you know, a lot of major galleries do that, but it, it's a really neat way to find out some of the intricacies and things that you may not even notice or, or, or know about a piece of artwork. I think that's, that's a really innovative and great idea, but it's great to see uh, such a facility come back to our community. Uh, and I know there's a whole year and calendar list of great things that are going to happen there. And uh, it's going to be a place of growth. It's amazing. And we thank you guys for bringing this beautiful exhibit in. And we thank you for giving us that space for people to uh, create in. It will also benefit our community in other ways. First, I want to backtrack just a minute and say, in addition to taking your, iPhone, your telephone with you, your mobile phone you need to allow an hour to an hour and a half to view the exhibit to fully be able to see all of the reproductions that are there also the exhibit the bit of the money that is spent on the tickets will benefit the downtown women's center catholic charities the amarillo art institute which is now what formerly sunset center and the uh, Texas, the cultural, the Amarillo Cultural District. So not only are you having a wonderful experience, you're helping our community at the same time. As always, as always. Uh, Ms. Lovelady, speaking to that fact, uh, how great is it that we live in a community with uh, uh, about 250,000 people and we have such outlets. We have a great ballet. We have a great symphony. Uh, ATL does great things in the performance arts. We've got the AMOA. We've got the Pan Andal Plains Museum. Uh, how, how lucky are we to have such exposure? Lone Star Ballet. I mean, I could keep going. People who come to Amarillo from other places are amazed by what we have to offer. And I heard someone say one time that they thought that when Amarillo was established and we're so far from other major metropolitan areas that our mindset is that we just have to do it ourselves. Yeah. That we will make these things happen and that we will bring these things to our community and that we will create these experiences for the people who live here. But we believe that this exhibit will also bring in people from other places to Amarillo to see this wonderful exhibit. And we do it well. We, we do it on our own and we do it well. You don't want to miss it. Michelangelo Sistine Chapel. Uh, it'll run from June 9th through the 23rd at the Arts and Sunset, formerly called the Sunset Center, uh, 3701 Plains Boulevard. And, and make sure I'm correct on this, Miss Lovelady. Go to Chapel Sistine, uh, Michelangelo, correct. online to get your tickets and see a beautiful, beautiful work of art and enjoy a new home for art. Ms. Lovelady, thank you so much for hanging out with us this morning. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to tell you about this wonderful showcase that we have here in Amarillo. Don't forget, it's at the new Arts in the Sunset, uh, the Michelangelo Sistine Chapel exhibit. You need to Google Chapel Sistine Michelangelo's, get your tickets and be a part of some great art. We're going to take a quick break. We're back with your latest news and weather right here on the chat on Newsday Amarillo and News Channel 102.